now that we've talked about general um, prevention policies and procedures, uh, we're going to move to procedures that are specific to our children's ministry. At Chalmers Community Church, we want to make sure that our children are protected, and, um, and one of the ways that we do that is by having a very specific uh, signing in and signing out procedure. And so from children who are, um, who are from birth up to SK, uh, senior kindergarten, so that includes up to age five, whenever you receive or release a child, um, we need to make sure that parents sign them in and sign them out from your care. So children should not be dropped off or left in any uh, ministry area without a ministry personnel present and without being signed in and signed out. And those that need to, those that need to, um, to be signed in and signed out must be released into the care of their parent or into a, a designate um, utilizing a signature. Now for children who are um, from ages six and up, they can be received into a designated area by ministry personnel. They're not, they're not um, to be, again, they're not to be signed, uh, they're not to be dropped off or left in a room without a ministry personnel present, um, but they, they do not need to be signed in or signed out. Um, they can be released on their own or picked up by a parent. Washroom guidelines are often uh, a concern to ministry personnel. How do I help a child go to the washroom and, and do that in a way that is safe for the child and safe for me as well? First of all, let me just say parents are encouraged to deal with their child's toileting issues prior to all of our worship services. Now, if you are working in our nursery, um, diapering can be done. You are allowed to change a, a, a child's diaper with the parent's permission. If a parent does not give you permission or tells you not to change their diaper, then do not change their diaper. However, um, if a parent has left a diaper bag and lets you know that you are able to change their diaper, please do so. It's always nice for a parent to come down and receive their child and to receive them with a, uh, a, a clean diaper on. For our preschool children, preschool children are not to go to the washroom alone. Ministry personnel will escort that child, usually in groups, uh, to the washroom. And if the child needs help in the washroom, as many preschoolers do, things like pulling down their pants, getting on the toilet, washing their hands, all those things um, that preschoolers schoolers are just learning how to do. If, you, uh, if a child needs that help, you as a ministry personnel are allowed to assist, but please make sure to keep the door of the washroom open so that you are not alone again with a child. Now for elementary school children, again, we would ask that they not be sent to the washroom alone, um, but should be accompanied either by a buddy or a ministry personnel. And if a ministry personnel is escorting children to the washroom, uh, that ministry personnel should remain outside of the washroom door and wait for the children before escorting them back to the room. Again, if it is absolutely necessary to go into the, the washroom for some reason, um, make sure that the, the door of that washroom is left open. Food guidelines for our, uh, for our children's ministry. Due to food allergies, and food intolerances and uh, food, food restrictions. We would ask that all of our ministry personnel not serve food to any of our children. This includes infants all the way up. Parents are always encouraged to feed their child before they come to, uh, to church. And we always have, have food after our church that parents, again, can supervise this, can supervise their children in what they are allowed to eat or not. Now, I know that there are times around holidays or other festive times when ministry personnel will want to give children food, 
And if for some reason food is part of your lesson or you just uh, would like to give, uh, give the children a, a treat, please, um, please make sure to just keep those treats in a, in a baggie, a Ziploc bag, um, and to give those treats to the parents after the, after the service is done. That way the parents have the control of what the children are allowed to eat or not. Now for our nursery program, I know that this may be a concern. I, I, I want to just say that pre-made uh, baby bottles, so uh, either uh, pumped breast milk or, uh, or already pre-made formula, as well as water bottles are allowed and that you can give those to the children. Proper displays of affection. At Chalmers, we understand that sometimes children just need hugs or, or, a, or a hand on the shoulder to help them to, to focus um, or to be uh, led by the hand to a certain activity. And we, we understand that touch is, uh, can be a very safe thing and can be a very uh, loving thing. We also need to make sure that we are doing the, these uh, safe touches in, 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 in proper ways. And so we need to recognize that there are different ways of, 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 of connecting with the child physically depending on their age. Some of the appropriate ways uh, to, to have touch uh, with the child. You can, you can show love and caring uh, through bending down to a child's eye level and speaking kindly to them in that way. Or by taking a child's hand and leading them to an activity. By putting an arm around the shoulder of a child who needs quieting or comforting. Of giving hugs, but just make sure that they're brief. Of holding a child by the shoulder or the hand to control inappropriate behavior of holding a preschooler who's crying, those are appropriate things. Inappropriate touch would be things like tickling or prolonged hugging. Things where you're taking the, con the control away from the child. Obviously, uh, any, any touch that would, uh, be, would be in an area that was otherwise covered by a bathing suit um, would not be appropriate unless you're helping a child uh, wipe themselves in the bathroom. And, and carrying, carrying children uh, who are over, um, you know, grade uh, age eight or having those, those type of children sit on your lap is not appropriate. 